Jordan. Well, it was a murder trial from 1935 that captivated the nation. A school teacher from Pound, Virginia, convicted of killing her father with her high heel shoe. Her name was, was Edith Maxwell, and storyteller Pamela Gilmer brings that story to life in her one woman show titled Edith Tells All. Pam joins us this morning with more on the show, the fascination, and an upcoming event. Welcome. Thank you. Well, let's talk about you first of all before we talk about the story because I know we were chatting earlier. You're a retired school teacher, and this was sort of a project that you took on kind of in conjunction with the, one of your classes. Mm -hmm. So tell me about how it got started. Well, it got started when I was reading the History of Pound, a book that had come out that was just really contributions from people who remembered history or could tell stories about things from the area and I noticed the story about Edith Maxwell and I was riveted because I had never heard that no one ever talked about it and I thought it was a fascinating story about a pound teacher who really got herself involved in a big mess a big mess <laughs> a and big of course mess. it made headlines you said you looked up the media circus back in 1935 mm -hmm. and what had happened to this little town of pound and just all of the attention that was brought to this case right right what was it do you think that was so intriguing about edith and her case i think a lot of it is the same kinds of things that are intriguing today she was young she was pretty and she seemed to be taken the rap mm -hmm. and so people across the country thought this poor woman uh, who was a victim of her father's abuse mm -hmm. and who knows what really happened but she definitely took the rap and was sentenced to 25 years in prison so uh, people were sympathetic and there was a lot of yellow journalism mm -hmm. connected to this and that's fake news as we <laughs> call it today. Uh, so when you wrote this story and now you you sort of perform it, what's it like up there on stage sharing this in this way? It's fulfilling to me. It's fulfilling to me because it deals with issues that I care about like domestic violence, alcoholism, uh, women's rights, all the same things that are going on today. So even though it's a story from a long time ago, it's still very relevant today. And it was about someone that was in Pound, and I was in Pound, and later went to Jacksonville, Florida, and I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. So there was a connection at both ends. And so now you perform this, and you have two performances coming up this next month in October, one early October and one toward the end of October. Tell right. us about those. Well, the one that's coming up on Saturday is through ProArt, which is a, an art program that strives to bring in cultural events to rural Virginia uh, and let people be subjected to art and people come here for it. So I was thrilled that they were going to listen to me since I'm local, but the story was again something that is of interest around here. So I'll be performing it at the Park Avenue Theater in Norton, which was a movie theater back in 1935 where Edith would have gone to the movies. So once again, just uh, tracking each other. Uh, the second one is the Red Fox Storytelling festival which takes place in pound and when i did it the first year a couple years ago they actually had the tent on the site where the house was wow. located right off the pound river so yeah it was pretty cool to be right there all right well, we'll give everybody the information again you have two different opportunities to see this the red fox storytelling festival coming up later in october for more information you can check out the website and then don't forget as well coming up this saturday an opportunity to see it through the pro art association thank you so much for joining us thank you for having me